circle time? Are you there before me? I'm not even sitting down at circle time yet. And some of you, I think, already are. You are speedy weedies. That's what I call you. Speedy weedy. Speedy weedy smarty pants. I'm saying speedy weedy sp smarty pants. That means you're fast, clever, brilliant. You know what's going on. Man, I'm trying to get everything ready for myself. I'm getting this apron on, tying it in the back. There's a part that goes over my head. And then there are straps that go on the side of around. And then they cross in the back. And I guess I could show you that. See if I know how to go backwards on this. Dun, dun, dun. So there's the front of it. And then look. See? Oh, yeah, you can. See that? This is what I do. Tying behind my back. That would be a good challenge for you if you ever want to do some tying work. Hi, hi, hi. I'm not quite ready. I have a few more things to get. I'm going to look at my list again. Even though it's not business meeting time. Oh, boy. I left my glasses far away. So now look what I do. If I hold my paper way far away here... So my paper is here, but my eyes, if I go this close, blurry, blurry, blurry. If I back up, back up, back up, not blurry. Okay, I have that, I have that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna do a serious talk today. Just wait, not mean serious, but something serious. Oh, let me get this book out. I'm gonna need this book. And I'm getting really excited to start circle time with you. I'll hum a song that's going to be one of the songs for today. Are you friends ready? I don't know if you're going to come sit down to watch circle time. So I'm not going to tell you leave all your things and come to circle time. Like I used to say when I went to a preschool classroom, I'd always say, leave all your things and come to circle time. Or then if you did bring things to circle time, sometimes that was the plan. Oh boy, I'm sorry. I got strap troubles. Sometimes that was the plan. But sometimes I'd be like, okay, if you have a thing with you, if you've got a toy or some supply, put it behind you. So hands free, because you might need your hands for something. So I'm not even going to say any of that. You might be able to have your hands all the way full. This is different. This is not the way it used to be. This is circle time on a computer or an iPad or a tablet or a phone. Maybe your TV. I guess some TVs do that now. So this is different. So I won't say leave all your things and come to circle time. I'll just say, when you hear the bell ring, come to circle time. When you hear the bell ring, come to circle time. But now I'm gonna change it again because maybe you're not gonna even come over. So I'm not even gonna say that. Now I'm gonna say, when you hear the bell ring, I'll start circle time. Because that's true. I can control myself. I can do it. I'm going to do it. And maybe you'll join in. When you hear the bell ring, I will start circle time. Everybody and welcome to circle time. I have something new today. Think about the color red. Think about the color orange. This is a day that used to be called red day for my school. And then the morning would have been red class. And then in the afternoon, we would call it orange day, orange class. So some of you are used to that. Some of you used to think about it that way all the time. 
what day is it today? Is it orange day? Is it green day? Is it blue day? Is it yellow day? And we've kind of stopped doing that because we don't go there anymore. So I thought it might be helpful for you to know that I would have called today red day and orange day. And look, that's me. I went on red day and orange day. The other colors too, but today we're just talking about red and orange. Look who else used to come. She has an orange on the back of her because then her schedule changed. But look, Miss Naomi used to come on orange day. Look at this teacher friend. Miss Sydney came on red day. Oh, here's an orange friend. Grandma Bonnie came on orange day. Oh, here's a red friend. Grandpa Kelvin came on red day. Another red friend, and this was the only time he came. Mr. Matt, he came on red day and played so much Uno. If you know Mr. Matt, he would teach people how to play Uno the real way. So all you kiddos, if you played with Mr. Matt, how many winners were there only? One. Ooh, I even have it maybe. Oh, I moved it, but I'll show you. We even had the Uno winner thing. That was some serious red day work. Here's a friend who sometimes came on red and orange day. Miss Tristan. This guy came, and I know this was new for some of you because he wasn't there very much. He just started, look. Mr. Micah, he came on red day. This grandma came, red day too. Grandma Brenda, she came on red day. And look, she used to come on yellow day too. We'll talk about that tomorrow on yellow day. Grandma Brenda. And then on orange day, we also had Grandma Frances. She was kind of like the Play-Doh grandma in my mind. She always would play Play-Doh with you. So those are the teacher friends and they have not forgotten their time with you if they were your teachers there. And if you don't know those teachers because you weren't ever there with them, they kind of feel like they know you now. They really do. They feel like, oh, all these new children, this is so special. We get to do this together. So that part is, that's the kind of thing where some's the same and some's different. So welcome to Red Day and Orange Day. And let me show you. All of those teachers go in the box. And pretty soon all of your names will go in there. The teachers' names will go in there. Look, it has a fancy little glass cover. See, this is, that's got, it's actually plastic, so it's not as gonna be as breakable. But like, I'm peeking, like I'm looking in a window at you. Your names are going to go in here and your families will help figure out if your name isn't in here yet. You'll know because I have a list. I'll put your name in there with my name and all the teachers and then I'll get to close it up. And because that's way we can all be together when we wish each other well. I love the color brown. It's just a beautiful rich color. So I'm going to make sure some brown stays on here. And I think today I'll also add some rainbow colors to our box. So let's think about each other, all right, friends? <sighs> so everybody, we know that nobody is at preschool today all together because we're at our own places doing things. And some people still get to go to their other preschool or daycare, but nobody gets to go all together like this to this preschool together. So. We all are missing each other because sometimes we've never even been together, but we're together now in a different way. So everybody, we wish you well. We wish you well. We wish you well. All through the day today, we wish you well. The... I'm getting something out of this other box, not the wish you well box out of the alphabet letter box. The uh, letter of the week is 
W. You can make a W. If you've got three fingers that can stick up together, and then if you've got extra fingers, find a way to tuck them down or hold them down. Do something. The letter of the week is W. Here we go. W is for, what is that? Watermelon. W is for, if you say clock, you're saying a C word. But if you say watch, you said a W word. W is for <laughs> watermelon. W is for watch. The letter of the week is W. And now I'm going to do a serious talk. So I'm not being mad, but I'm going to be serious. This watermelon fruit... This is a fruit that some people like to eat. Some people have been very clever and figured out how to grow this even when it was hot and they didn't have a lot of water and they didn't have a way to make it easy to water their garden. They could grow this and eat it and they could give it away to people. They could sell it. Here's the part that I'm gonna be serious about and this is where if it happens, I do feel like that is not fair. That is not nice. That isn't even very smart. Your families might have heard about this, that there are people who think that some people, no matter what, if they, that there are groups of people that all like watermelon. Oh, they, yeah, they like watermelon. And that isn't true. Just because of how someone looks, or where someone comes from doesn't mean they have to like watermelon. That doesn't even make sense to me. Everyone is their own person. And so if you ever hear about someone saying, oh, they look like that, well, they must like that. Or, oh, I saw them, they look like that, and so they must do this or that. I would say that's not being very clever in your own mind. You just think of them as an individual and you can think, huh, I wonder, I wonder if they like it. We don't know for sure just by looking at people what they like. So that's what I think about every time I see watermelon. I do think about that and I think, how can we help grown, and really grown ups are the ones who do it a lot. They're like, oh yeah, all of those people like watermelon. Well, maybe not. You don't know for sure, did you talk to all of them? So that's what I'm thinking about. You talk to me about that. Tell your grown-ups to talk to me about that if they don't know what I'm talking about. So now you kids know. You know how to think about people as their own person and remain curious about them and what do they like. So that was my serious W talk. And now I'm gonna do something not as serious. I think I told some of you that I had two guests coming today. And I think I talked about it at the business meeting. And I'm starting to laugh because one of the guests is getting very close to me. Because one of the guests is here. And one of the guests has some little clippity cloppity feet. And one of the guests already started to eat something that I was going to show you later. This guest matches this song. This guest is making a mess over here. <laughs> this guest I'm talking about is alive. So a window is not alive. A window is an object, often made with some kind of glass or plastic, some kind of metal or wood. But do you see what picture on uh, what in here has a waggly tail? Here is my first guest. I'm ready. Look at this guest. <gasps> look, look. I'm trying to tell her to look at you, but she doesn't know that. Look, this is my guest. That means a visitor. 
a visitor at circle time. Her name is, oh boy, come on. Her name is Ginger. She's very scruffy. And now she really wants something she sees, but it's not time yet. This is the dog that yesterday at Music Monday, when I was singing, how much is that dog in the window? When I would do the bark part, her ears would go up. So let's see. Okay, Ginger, stop. You can't have that treat yet. No, Ginger, look here. Ginger. No, Ginger. Oh, no, there's somebody helping. Okay, watch. Let's see if her ears go up. Oh, done. How much is that dog in the window? Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Ginger? The one with the... Let's see for tail wags. Yeah, with the <laughs> waggly tail. Woof, woof. How much is that dog in the window? Woof, woof. Now we're talking about adoption fees. Paying the adoption fees so that you can bring home your dog. I do hope that doggy's for sale. So this dog likes treats so much that that's all she wants. Even though the treat I have is not supposed to be for her. It's for the next game we're going to play. And on the next game we're going to play, you'll see the next guest. So I'm going to let Ginger go. Bye, Joe. Yeah, her nickname is Joe. And I'm going to move my supplies because you get to go on a little ride. You'll get to go on a little camera ride. Moving my supplies around. <laughs> do, 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 do for the next game. Here we go. Are you ready for a little camera ride? There you go. Now you can see the window. You can see the clock. You can see some things over there. You'll get to see me again in the new spot. Okay. And now I'm going to rearrange some more. And you're going to see something slide right here. Look what I've put together here. I'm pretending that that is a real window. Do you see what I've got here? So it's not a real window. It used to have a mirror in it. And it's like a little thing that I got at the thrift shop once. So right now I'm trying to make it seem like you can only see the window. And then look, this is my hand. So look, if I open up the window, what's back there? Me. Do you get it? Okay, so I'll move all the teacher pictures. And I'm going to put some things in this window that have W things to do. Okay? There are W things. So the first thing that I will show you is this. The clue is it's somebody... So you can keep your face okay, not yet though. So it's somebody who worked. A W word is work. This person worked at preschool, but also lives at my house. Abracadabra, alakazindo. Look what's behind the window. I'll open the curtains. <gasps> who is that? Hi guys. It's Miss Hi, Naomi. Friends. It is. It's me. See, she lives at my house. That's why we're together. And why do I live at your house, Miss Kristen? Daughter. You're my yeah, daughter. Yep. yep just even case. though, you know, sometimes people live at each other's house, even if they're not related, but we happen to be related. Yes. yes. Okay, so Miss Naomi is gonna help show you the next things. Okay. Okay, so Miss Naomi, you just pick up any of these things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These will be last. Okay. Um, okay, put it back there and I'll give a clue. Okay, okay close friends. It, close, it. close the curtain. Okay. What abracadabra alakazindo, here's a clue for what's behind the window. You can buy these at a grocery store. They can be in the freezer and then you put them in the toaster. Some people like to put syrup on it. It's a tiny box. You can just poke them through of waffles. Look how tiny that little box of waffles is. All right, next up. Where did you put that other one? It's up there. Yeah. In your closet. <laughs> World. What? 
Where? Do you see it? Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, kids, Miss Naomi had to hide the next thing from Ginger. All right. <laughs> Abracadabra, Alakazindo. Now, guess what's in the window? It's like the last thing, but it's bigger. And it's what Ginger was trying to eat. All right, poke it through, Miss Naomi. Oh, that's the real waffle. And do you see that little spot on top? Ginger, <laughs> that waffle was not for you. And now she's still here trying to eat it. Ginger. All right, next up. All right. Abracadabra alakazindo. Can you guess what's behind the window? I'll close it up a little more so there's no sneaky sneaks. So here's something. The things that Miss Naomi is going to poke through next are the uh, kind of people who are involved in construction sometimes or home repair or um, garbage collecting or recyclable collecting. They are workers. Okay, here they come. And they're small. Look how tiny those workers are. And this one right here is wearing a mask. That is so realistic for now. Do you want to look at it closer? Just look. Yeah, look at Here's a worker not wearing a mask yet. That's fine. You just got to do what you got to do. Maybe that this worker maybe didn't have access to a mask. That worker does have a mask on. Mm-hmm. All right. Abracadabra, Alakazindo. I think you'll be able to guess what's in the window. These are things that some people put in their window for Easter time. They weren't real. They were usually made out of paper. And people would go for a hunt looking for them. Come on out. Easter egg. That was in my window. I'm taking it down now because that Easter time is over. But there were a lot of those in windows. Some of you had those in your windows. I know you did. I love that. All right, next up. Here's your tricky clue. Abracadabra alakazindo. Can you guess what's in the window? Sometimes you can swim in this. It's a W word. Sounds like w w. Sometimes you can drink this. Sometimes you can use this to make a cup of tea or coffee or Kool-Aid. W w. Here it comes. It's water. Look at that make-believe tiny bottle of water. There isn't any in it for real because this lid right here doesn't come off. But it's a pretend water bottle. Okay, we've got one more clue for you. Abracadabra alakazindo. I have two friends that will come through the window. Now these friends we talked about yesterday at Music Monday, these friends are ones who would come to Red Day and Orange Day. And if they were there today, they would get their golden letters. Come on out, Wally and Wendell, you start with W. Come on out, Wally and Wendell. You're coming through the window. W is for Wally. W is for Wendell. The letter of the week is W. Well, thank you, everybody, for playing the window game. Thank you, Miss Naomi. <laughs> that was kind of hard for me. <laughs> oh, no. With the mirror? Oh, it's really hard. It is tricky. There's a big learning curve, we might call it. Um, Miss Naomi, do you want to just come sit up here with me? Get some kids away. I want to see you. Okay, it's really crowded. I know. It's, it's extra okay. crowded. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Look at me. It's, oh, no. <laughs> see? Some of you know Miss 
Miss Naomi. Oh, no, and now Ginger's trying to get up here. Well, I'll Ginger, I'll just I'm going to hide the waffle. She I, really likes well, treats. She cannot have that waffle. That's what I'm saying about that. Preschoolers, I want to show you something. Um, we already did that window game. I don't know. Was that fun for you? <laughs> it was fun for me. But I don't know if those games are fun on the computer. It's okay. So remember, at preschool, I do not get mad if someone tells me they're bored. If they're like, I don't like preschool. This is boring. I don't like this. Thank you for telling me so I can help figure out what to do differently. So if you think about this window game and you're like, I don't like playing that window game on the computer. Please tell me. That does not hurt my feelings. It's okay for you to tell me. One thing I want to show you also about windows is I made a movie about me doing my own journal work. Some people don't have a journal like this. Some people do have a journal like this. Some people have other paper at home or like the like old garbage paper that they can use, scrap paper, scratch paper, the back of a cardboard box, something. Like pizza boxes. Pizza boxes, like those are sturdy, too. yeah. And then you might have something to write with. You might not have crayons. That's fine. You might not. You might not have anything, but maybe you have like an old pencil or something you can do some writing with. Ooh, then you would be using like blackish gray, which is my favorite color. I do have crayons and I had a pencil too. So look what I did. I did this by myself one night in my room. And then I made a movie about it for you. I put things in the windows. First of all, I tried to draw windows shapes. Then I put things in there. And in the movie about it, I tell you about why I did it, what I did, what you can do. W might be an easy letter shape for you to make. Um, if you put your magic finger up, magic pencil up. And then you slide. It's a whole bunch of slides. Oh, I thought of something. In our town, nobody is supposed to go to the playgrounds anymore. Can you go to the playground in your town? In your city? Like where there's a play structure, no one is supposed to go on it now because of the virus germs. And that if people are so close together or if they're like touching it and then the germ stays on there and then people don't remember you, I don't know if it's there. Blah. So now when I talk about slides, maybe you're going to feel like, oh, I don't have a slide. It's not fair. I don't have a slide. Well, your finger gets to go on a slide because watch magic pencil. You're going to start in the corner and you're going to go slide down, slide up, slide down, slide up. That's W shape. Down, up, down, up. It's a W shape when you slide around like that. Slide, 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 slide. It's like I'm not going straight up and down. I'm trying to go sliding. I'm also not going straight across. I'm sliding like, doo. And then, like at our school, you are allowed to go up the slide. Some slides, you're not supposed to do that, I know. At our school, you can. So now we're going to go slide up the slide. Here we go. Do Slide down. Do Slide up. Do My dog's ears are going up. Slide down. Do Slide up. Do <laughs> Slide down. Do I've got someone on here. I, this book that I got at the beginning of Circle Time. I like this book a lot. And in here, there's a mm -hmm. character who, if they came to our school, they'd get their golden letter too. Because the name is Willie. <laughs> and Willie has a last name called Winky. Willie Winky. And Willie Winky is quite small. Wee. Like, that's another way of saying small. Like, if I want to say, um, this is going to be cute. I'm going to say, oh, look at that worker. I could say, that's a small little worker. Or I could say, that's a tiny little worker. Or I could say, that's a wee little worker. <laughs> that's a wee worker. <laughs> that means tiny. If you see something small today anywhere, call it wee. Like, if you, if your family gives you some food and it's just a little bit, you could say, oh, thank you for that wee bit of food. Wee. 
So I've got the picture coming up. This is Wee Willy Winky. Do you know what kind of animal that's supposed to be? Some kind of goose. Looks kind of like a duck. Goose, duck. And this is the poem part about Wee Willy Winky. And Wee Willy Winky does something with a window. I'll read the word about it for you. We, okay, look, you'll just see, only see my eyes peeking through the top. Wee Willy Winky runs to the town, upstairs, downstairs, in his nightgown, rapping at the window. So there are two ways you could think of rapping. Some people might think, oh, he's singing some kind of song at the window, like a rap, like rap music. Um, or some people know the other way, thing that means is rapping is another way of saying knocking, rapping at the window. The other part of it says crying <laughs> through the lock. In this poem, what that means is not like, I'm crying at the lock. It means I'm crying out like, hey, I'm crying for you. Crying out the window, crying through the lock. That makes sense? So those are the words. The other thing that it talks about is 8 o'clock. At the business meeting, I talked about midnight. That's 12 o'clock. We started circle time at 10 o'clock. Well, that wee willy winky is talking about 8 o'clock. So when that little hand is on the eight and the big hand is all the way up on the 12 that would be eight o'clock and we willy winky is saying that's bedtime that's bedtime for all the children because now it's eight o'clock so here's how it goes and you're going to hear my hands running on my legs they're going up and down like this if you've got two hands and two legs, you can do it the same way I am. If you don't have two hands or two legs, figure out how you want to do it to represent running. Because that's what we're going to do first. Wee Willy Winky ran through the town, upstairs, downstairs, in his nightgown, rapping at the window, crying through the lock. Are the children all in bed? Pretend you're wearing a watch and point to it. For now it's eight o'clock. Run your hands. If you got them, run your hands your way. Wee Willy Winky ran through the town. Upstairs, downstairs, in his nightgown. Yes, he. Nightgown. That can be true. Rapping at the window, crying through the lock. Are the children all in bed? For now it's eight o'clock. Do you have a bedtime? What time is your bedtime? Miss Naomi's bedtime keeps changing during this stay at home time. Mm -hmm. It's getting later for her. We Willy Winky would say, Miss Naomi, you're not even close to being in bed at eight o'clock. What are you doing? <laughs> Last time, my hands are ready. Wee Willy Winky ran through the town, upstairs, downstairs, in his nightgown, rapping at the window, crying through the lock. Are the children all in bed? For now it's eight o'clock. I should think about that one a little bit more, don't you think? I'll remind you, if I remember, I'll remind Miss Naomi. Miss Naomi, if we Willy Winky was here, he would be asking you if all the children are in bed, even though Miss Naomi's a grown-up, too. She's both a grown-up kid. Okay, friends, I have one more thing to tell you. It's another serious thing. The W sound goes, wah, wah, wah. There are a lot of people, children, big kids, adults, who also make the wa 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 sound for a different letter. And I'm thinking about people who then get, maybe their feelings get hurt. If you know the song, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. There are a lot of people who would not say, row, 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 they would say, whoa, 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 your boat, gently down the stream. Ginger's looking at me. Because the way they make their R sound is that same W sound. So you might hear people doing that. So if they were trying to say something and you're like, well, that's not a W word, really. 
that might be the way that their mouth does it. So at preschool, we talk a lot about that. So even though there are going to be some words that start with W, like um, this is a worker, some people would say it's a woko, woko, because of the way their mouth is working. So you might be someone who can either say a lot of W so sounds, and then you might be somebody who hears a lot of other people making W sounds. And where I get serious about it is don't be mean about it to somebody, however they talk. Don't be mean to them how they talk. They're communicating in their way. So when we do the poem today, the goodbye poem, I have two ways for us to do it. We'll do it the regular way. Round around the classroom, we did Rome. But then we're going to change every single word to start with the W sound, which will be how some people do it in real life. Some people never say round and round the circle. They already do wound and wound the circle because that's how they talk. So today we're all going to go wound and wound will work. Well, we, wid, womb. So it'll get kind of fun and funny. Then I'm going to try something else. Then I'm going to do the barking like in the song. How much is that doggy in the window? Woof, woof. And I'm going to see if Ginger will put her ears up for that part. Now that she's done thinking about that waffle. So first we're going to do it the regular way, regular voices. Then we're going to do W sounds. Then we'll only do barking. And then circle time will be over. And Miss Kristen, it's right that those noises come from the way that our mouth muscles are working. Yeah. So yeah. you're going to be using different muscles when you say the words the way that we usually say them yeah. at the end of circle time. Yeah. And oh, then boy. two dogs now. And then even other muscles when we do it the other way. Right. So you can pay attention so, to how it uh, feels. Get your tongue when you make that R sound like round, my tongue is curling up in my uh, mouth. Uh, uh, but uh, when I say wound, you'll see my lips are going to go wound and I don't even know what my tongue is doing. Wound. Something Not different. Much. Using yeah. different muscles. So you just Notice your mouth muscles. And if you go to speech therapy or speech class, you know about this. You're like the expert. Tell me what you do if you do that too. All right, finger up. Oh, let's do a bunny breath. Or say it, rabbit breath, wabbit breath. One more time. Regular words, however you do it. Round and round the circle. We did roam. Here we go. One step, two step. Now we stay home. W sounds. Wound and wound, wa woggle. We wid woam. This is a very hard thing for my brain and body to do together. One wep. Woo, wep, wow, we way, whoam. <laughs> it was tricky, tricky. Okay, now we got to get Ginger up here. Let me see if okay. I can. Can you hold her right there? Okay, hold her so we can see her ears. Okay, okay. oh, this is good. Wait, hold up. Okay, <clears throat> get ready. Now we're going to bark and I'll see. You'll see if her ears go up, okay? Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because it's so funny to see her here. Okay, here we go. Uh, roof, roof, roof. Here's might be a trick. Let me show you the best way she can put her ears up. Hey, Ginger, photo shoot. <laughs> hey, Ginger, Ginger, photo shoot. Ginger, photo shoot. Oh, we don't know why she does it. We just discovered it one day. She's an old dog. She's an old dog. We got her from a friend of mine named Jennifer. We adopted her when she was already a grown-up, so all of her training was kind of done. So we discovered new tricks that she can do all the time. Good. Okay. All right, friends. I like being at circle time with you. And I'll see you tomorrow when we're going to do some more W things. Maybe a little bit wild. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, Miss Naomi. Bye, friends. Bye. Bye, everybody.